This is my ultimate dream job. They say you never grow up, and that's true. You're always a big kid at heart, and you know what? You go from your little toys, and the toys just get bigger the older you get. We are mining for gold. We're up here in Agni Eagle's Detour Lake location, the bottom end of James Bay in Northern Ontario. We also border Quebec. We are located roughly three hours north of Cochrane, Ontario. Gold is in the rock, and we have lots of that up here. We mine about 700,000 ounces of gold a year. We move over 100 million tons of material. We have around 1,500 employees plus contractors. The types of roles that we're really struggling to find or that we just actually need more of is uh, a lot of our trades. So our heavy duty mechanics, our mill rights, our crane operators, and then on top of that, it's our technical staff. So our geologists, our geotechnical engineers, our mine engineers. We know that enrollment in all of those is continuing to decrease, but the need of mining in Canada is increasing. Opening the doors to the educators here is very important because it's very hard to understand mining until you see it. You really don't know what you don't know. And as a group of educators, when the mandate is to develop an understanding of pathways into apprenticeship and skilled trades, it's difficult to do that if you don't have on the ground experience. This is an incredibly rich opportunity. I mean, to live in the camp and to really see the mining life uh, goes well beyond anything we could achieve in a workshop, in a school, or even through a guest presenter. It's important that we bring the teachers here on site to see what we're actually doing. It helps drive their curriculum uh, and gear it towards what we actually need out in the field. Hoping to talk to people that are actually working here so I can get, you know, a day in the life perspective of it. I think there's a lot of job opportunities for um, people, especially my students, so I like to go and explore this so I can bring this back and tell them what I've seen and hopefully promote rewarding careers in the mining industry. Mining is just such a critical thing that people don't think about. I mean, what doesn't use gold or, or precious metals nowadays, you know, computers, you know, tablets, phones, uh, electric cars. There's just so much that we use this resource for. It feels like you're providing for society. It feels like you're doing something that uh, the world needs. Living on a camp life basis, it's sort of like a, a small village. It's pretty interesting because there's so much to do here. There's sports every night. You can play squash, badminton, basketball. There's lots of other recreational activities as well. Been here for two and a half years now and I've absolutely loved the experience. I don't regret making the career change whatsoever. I wish I would have done it right out of high school. The money's here and I get a vacation every two weeks. Mining is very stable. I feel like I have great job security here and I'm very happy to be a part of this environment. This industry has provided me with a livelihood where I have multiple properties, where I am out of country 90 days out of the year, where financially I am set. This place just is a never-ending opportunity. You know, there's just so much to learn here. And even if you don't have the experience, this is a great place because we will train you here. You can always progress in the mine life. They always give out uh, apprenticeships for mechanics, welders. It's a privilege to work here, honestly. I'm, I have so much pride into my job and working here at the mine site. There's so many jobs here. It's not what I thought mining would be. If I had to turn around and say to any youth, if you want freedom, this is the job for it. If you want to know what freedom really is, the mining industry will provide that freedom for you. I think it was an incredible experience. It's trips like these that really build your, your world perspective, your lived experience of the possibilities that live beyond school. You know, I, I've always referenced and loved the quote, um, our job isn't to prepare kids to do well in school, but to prepare kids to do well in life. So 
you know, if we're going to really achieve that, I think it's incumbent on us to get out there and see the world and continue our own learning in that way and to broaden our own lived experiences. So if we're going to really prepare kids to be ready for the future, we need these opportunities.